our first map is going to be Ephemeron. As we get into another best of three. In the bottom right corner, as the Pink Terran from Team Gosu, it's Lyra. And in the top left, as the Teal Zerg, it's Starkiller. Starkiller, repping the Alpha X Dragon. It's going to be a pool first from Starkiller. Not really a surprise there. Starkiller. <clears throat> Throws down a natural. So not going to be totally all in. Lyra picks it up, puts it down, builds the Reaper. Sixlings coming out from Starkiller to try and get a delay on this natural CC. And, I mean, Lyra's fully scouted this. Uh, the question is, how does he prepare for it? He's making correct decisions already. Hey, thanks so much for the follow, Jerket. Natural CC. Being built in the main. Cancelled on the low ground. And that means Starkiller's Lings aren't going to be able to get any purchase here. Any damage done. Lyra, instead of going for the add-on, going for a Marine. These Lings should not be able to break through the Supply Depot in time. Even without Repair. But Repair, Lyra will anyway. Lyra's Reaper <laughs> super trapped in here. It's like a it's like a haunted house of Reaper deaths. He's just gonna hide in the closet and the monster found him. Rip. Once again, a shout out to Kasai. Shout out to Pearl. Shout out to Rails. Shout out to all the risen people making this happen today. Gravity620 over on the other stream. Coda helping out as well. Starkiller cleaning up the unbuildable plates. 
Myra trying to find purchase with these Hellions. He has dropped a fusion core, and he ha is going into BC. Lyra. I'm gonna pull the Hellions home. Star Killer totally prepared, dropping spores, increasing the queen count, getting a lair. Uh, we should see a spire very cleanly dropped. Indeed, we will. BC is halfway done. It will hit before the spire. Um, is finished, let alone any Corruptors can get in the air. But that's not really the point, right? The BC moves across. If it blinks, then it will be stuck over there for an amount of time that the Corruptors can hit the field. Um, if it slow walks, well, then there will be Corruptors on the field. drones get picked off and Lyra's caught here the battle cruiser goes down okay 14 drones for the battle cruiser obviously not the worst trade that could have happened but it's still pretty bad Lyra oh no he has the wall down he has the wall down GG is called star killer floods in and takes game number one In the bottom right corner, as the pink Terran, it's Lyra. And in the top left, as the red Zerg, it's Starkiller. Starkiller, extractor tricking, and you know what that means. I think we're going to see a pull first. Are we though? Okay, there's the gas. Um, maybe not. Okay, all right. I thought this was a different build. Oh, no, we are, we are. Absolutely, we are. Just uh, a little bit late there from Starkiller. Again, if you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. Um, in the downtime between games, if you want to check out more content, exclamation B stream in the chat will link you to Gravity620, who I'm sure is doing great work over on his channel. Um, thank you to Rails for sponsoring this tournament. The prize split is $200 for first place, $75 for second, and $25 for third place. Myra, getting the safer CC on the high ground. This time, Starkiller is going for a two-base roach play. So he continues mining away at that gas. Lyra. He's going to have a factory up. He needs to get a tank out very quickly. Has he scouted the Roach Warren? Let's take a look. He has not. Okay, he's going to see it now. He has enough time to respond to this, the factory, about to finish. He needs to just go tech lab and then either go for a cyclone or a tank. Already responding, getting the bunker on the high grounds.
siege tank coming out. Starkiller doing a good job of keeping the supply depot down. Now, this one never really matters, okay? It's it's the supply depot over here to the left in front of the bunker um, that is keeping these Ravagers from closing in too much. Ooh, he's going downhill with the tanks. All right, this could backfire. But, okay, I like this strategy, kind of. Ah, uh, Lyra loses a tank. I mean, I guess he didn't kill any units, but... Ah. Uh, uh, he also just can't eat damage forever, right? But I, I feel like the answer is not to push out with tanks. I feel like the answer is to get a starport, get a banshee out, get a liberator, something like that that can uh, deal with these guys from the air. Oh, the second supply depot under heavy fire and it will go down. Nothing left to shield the bunker. Starkiller doing a great job of calmly uh, pushing in. He's going to drop a third behind this. Eight teamlings from Starkiller. Uh, it looks like he doesn't want to go up to, you know, droning his third base yet. He is going to continue this aggression, try to flood the lings in. He's going for a scout in the main. Lyra getting up a third CC. Oh, this is going to be a rough hold for the Terran. Starkiller going into Spire as well for a Muta play. This is going to be very heavy aggression from Starkiller. Cyclone taking out an Overlord, but uh, not helping with these Ravagers. Meaning a lot of the Marines will lose their lives. Still four Ravagers to threaten as the Ling reinforcements move slowly across the map. Ling speed finishing in about 12 seconds. So when they reach these rocks, we'll be getting their Metabolic Boost. Oh no, the Cyclone uses a lock-on on the links. The boys are pulled to fight. Bile connects with them. GG is called. Starkiller takes the win. 2-0. to zero.